figured she'd say taps to strikes. <laughs> that would be more appropriate. Or rear naked choke, elbowing somebody until they give you their back. But no, nope, she likes to throw the leg up over and attack the shoulder. That's a pretty intricate move for a kickboxing specialist. See, Isis just getting up to that track already. The Suerdo Mezcal on our, on our mat. And I'm curious to see what Monica's entry is going to be. Obviously, we all know she wants to get it to the ground. But how? What are you going to look mm -hmm. off? Are you going to look off maybe taking one of the kicks and catching and throwing it down? Are you going to try to set up with a clinch? Um, you know, hopefully not just a shot from really far away. But what are we going to do to get this fight out of Isis Verbeek's yeah. uh, wheelhouse so she's not in her strength, which is standing right in front of her? They're both downloading information here, but you got to think that that favors the one with more information and more experience to access. A hundred percent. The more she's been in this experience, even though it's different rules and all her experience in kickboxing, it's still the, the mental chess or, you know, the, uh, the physical chess of standing in front of somebody and going, all right, I threw my jab. When, how did you react to it? Mm -hmm. When I threw my low kick or I faked my low kick, what was your reaction? What are you going to try to do? And I'm starting to build game plan upon game plan with that information presented to me. Frank, sometimes we'll hear, and, and I see it beginning to happen here, we'll hear the term that ISIS will look to break her rhythm. What the, how can we explain that? Well, people have a rhythm to how they do techniques. If they throw their jab to their cross, how they do their movements. If you can sit there and throw somebody off, throw off their rhythm to where, okay, their natural defense is to see this indicator, you're going to be able to fit through it. It's very akin to people that understand baseball like a changeup. You throw in a speed ball, people get used to that rhythm. Then all of a sudden, the same motion comes forward and the ball's not there. The changeup, it throws people off. Another thing, too, guys, let's not forget, I've watched Mirko Prokop get knocked out by Randleman. Sometimes when you're so lauded in one area that people can get caught lazadaisical or unprepared that all of a sudden, let's see if Monica, you know, shoots in, changes levels, and comes up with a lead hook. That's still there and still a probability. You can tell Isis is waiting for Monica to enter. She knows Monica wants to come to her to try to get this fight to the ground. And if somebody doesn't enter, you go with what she's doing there, with throwing a couple of low kicks and force them to have to move forward. And I think actually Monica's best choice is, you know what, engage in a stand-up fight. Let's get uh, Isis for Beek to think that we're going to be have a kickboxing match and then get the takedown. From this distance, those kicks will keep coming. And if you're Monica Medina, hanging out at a kicking range is not going to benefit her either. So she's got to move forward soon, and she knows that. She's probably feeling that pressure now. Well, and, and the leg kicks are more of an accumulation damage. Very rarely do you see someone just land the first and only leg kick on the, the, the quad and it end up dropping somebody. Usually it's accumulation of damage. You're taking shot after shot, and the leg seizes up. So you can take a little bit more chances with those. Uh, the kicks to the body or to the head, they can end you in one shot. You're seeing now Monica is able to, to just stay a little bit ahead now. She doesn't need to react anymore. She can anticipate correctly what is coming. And so she's going to start lighting up in this last minute, which may give, give uh, Monica a chance to get underneath. I like that combination Nice is just through. She faked a low kick and came up at the loading with her left hook. Interesting that Monica has not made any, and not even a feint to, to, to show a takedown. Uh, could that be she's lulling her in, uh, get her to fall asleep? You know, sometimes, you know, everybody in the very first two minutes, you're going to see what they've been doing for the last eight weeks. That's the game plan they implement. That's the strategy. That's what comes in, hopefully. And then after about two minutes, people start reverting back to what they were months and years ago to what their style is. Mm -hmm. That sort of combat identity that has developed over the years starts to show itself. Yeah, it's easy at first to control because right now your oxygen levels are high. You're still able to use your, uh, your, your, your the part of your brain that allows you to think that internal dialogue. But as the fight wears on, as you start to go deeper into it, the more of your instincts, the reptilian brain is the only thing you're really operating on. Just a little there, Isis did block to draw punches to be able to answer. But even though it hasn't been the frenzied fight yet, you got to think from the outside that Isis feels like she's winning this round. 
I think she's she's landed the shots that have landed. She's thrown some decent combinations. Yeah, fights like this make me nervous as a cornerman because one movement from either person can win this round. Mm. Uh, Isis hasn't sealed it away to enough that if she were to get caught with a shot right now by Monica and it stunned her, uh, the first person to get stunned before this round is definitely the, uh, the loser of this round. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky one, though. If you want to use her forearm to block a shot, she stayed right there so that she was within distance. That's an indicator of a high-level striker. How can I stay just close enough to you where you don't hit me? But I'm not so far away that I can hit you. Oh, so turn she, the yeah, she, she turned the corner yeah. twice. Excellent take off. Yes, and, and and Frank said she turned the corner, which for the audience at home you see just literally that angled movement to take her off her leg. She did it twice. The first she time did. she was stopped. And that's the thing sometimes you gotta teach fighters, like, hey, you're on doing the platter, the Frank. Yeah, she's, she's going on the platter, but Monica has her knee trapped in there right now. Oh, she pulled it back up. So she's gotta clear that left hand underneath her armpit or at least off to the side. And she does, and right now, if I was more Monica, I'd step back hard with my right hip and then step over the top. A lot of times you've heard the expression sumo stepping because you take that big step over the top of someone's leg so you can go from being inside guard to being now in the half guard top position. Dan, she's in a gym that you own. Are you seeing her grappling regularly? constantly preparing for this fight? We always try to put fighters that, that, that are inexperienced in one area of mixed martial arts and in, in trouble in that situation, make them fight for their lives as much as you can so they can get better at it. So yeah, absolutely, she's been she's in that position. She seems like she's fairly comfortable in there, but it's more of Monica not doing a lot on top to keep make her uncomfortable. Uh, and that could be a problem with Monica. You, here you got the takedown, you gotta do something. Oh, nice hammer for yes. yeah. So she chose uh, correct me if I'm wrong, she chose the punch rather than settling into the position, but it was a hard punch, maybe a good trade. Yeah, I like the shot that she threw. Uh, the only thing is I would have liked to have seen her step into the half guard position. It's easier to get offense going from there, and uh, I think that right now her stepping back into Isis's full guard is slowing her down. But she's on top, mm -hmm. she's winning this round now because that shot she landed with the hammer fist coming down. And, uh, you know, the longer it stays here, the better she's going to do. And also, Isis has trained thousands of hours kickboxing. She's been training the last couple months now, 11 months at doing ground fighting. Her muscles that she uses for ground fighting aren't as, as conditioned as her kickboxing muscles. So here, keeping her hips in a constant tension of flexion, her ankles, the front of her, uh, her shin, all these are things that could get fatigued and tired being in these positions that she hasn't, you know, counted as many hours at. And it's mentally fatiguing. Yes. It's stressful, you're not in a familiar area, uh, because again, you know, familiarization makes you much more comfortable with certain situations. So she hasn't acclimated as much to these areas. She's up fast. A little bit of space that she needed, she kicked off, good job of getting up. Did not take much damage on the ground. Um, but again, there's two and a half minutes yeah. of a round in the bank for Monica. And also now it's like, hey, I can take you down. Yes. You know, if, if Isis was, you know, operating off the belief that, oh, you won't be able to get me down to the ground. Uh, Monica has shown that, well, no, I can put you down on your back. And we'll see if that ends up lighting a fire under uh, Verbeek's uh, offense going, hey, when you're on your feet, you better make it count. Or is that going to make her pull back? And right now it looks like it's the, the, the former. It's there's so much push and pull. It is fighting as constant dynamic interaction between different people, different movements, different body parts. Now, presumably, Dan, Monica will move forward. So Verbeek, with the back step, uh, go, uh, look to throw uppercuts and hooks, perhaps. I, I imagine Monica's corner told her she was down around after that first uh, round. So she comes out, gets the quick takedown, gets a couple round, a couple minutes of control time. But she did not build a big lead, so there's no. plenty of time here for Isis to take it back. If Monica is smart, she'd probably be looking for one more takedown to secure the round. Yeah, another takedown. I'm Switch. going down. We're completely seal it away right now. Giving it to her, but a couple of those chop roundhouses might start going ahead and mm -hmm. leaning back towards the direction of uh, Isis. Isis is switching stances oh, very oh, well. Oh, oh, a knee in the over. middle. That, that is that, it. That was a bad, brutal, game. ugly knee. Wow. Oh, that was a hard shot. That was a rough shot.